Today we're gonna be bag to fishing a brand new city that we have never been to before. And I'm pretty sure this is an older city, you guys. A lot of the buildings look pretty old. So there is just no telling what we're gonna find. We're not gonna waste any time at all here today, you guys. It is absolutely gorgeous. We're gonna start at bridge number one here. We're just gonna work our way down. Holy smokes. That's a big old chain, dude. Check this out. This is what, your second find yeah. of the day here? He's already got a big old chunk of chain. And that is a big old chunk here. Yeah, that's, you're not kidding, dude. That's stuck right in the ground or something. I don't know what that is. That's not moving. Not even if you're a wiggler. That's like, I don't know if it's an, maybe an anchor wedged in a, in a rock or something. That's, dude, that's stuck. Holy cow. Ah, I like don't want to let it go because no, it's like, no. dang, man. But we have to let this one go, man, unfortunately. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. My guess would be an anchor, but you never know. You guys, check this one out. I haven't even started tossing my magnet yet. I'm just getting everything unraveled here. Alex already found a crowbar. And look at that one. One of the teeth is broken on there. You only got a one toother. All right, you guys, back out on the boat. Brand new spot. Today I have my large 360 degree magnet with me. Let's get right down to it, start tossing around and see what we can find here today. Oh, look at that, you guys. I didn't even feel that one on there. The old, what is that? The skeleton looking. It's got the old creepy crawly legs on there. Obviously, that uh, rubber is no good, but once you take the rubber off, you guys, check that out. Wait, what the heck? What kind of hook is that? It's like the tip of the hook snapped off or something. It's not even pokey junk. I'm sure there's a whole bunch more of them in here. Oh, you guys, look at that. My first find of the day. Look at what we got. It looks like the old Mountain Dew can. The can looks super old, but I feel like for some reason that's like a newer design. Or unless that's the throwback. Yeah, that is the throwback can. That's what I thought. So it must be the real throwback can. Holy cow. That is pretty cool. What the heck is this? I've seen this on here too, you guys. Kind of thought that was just a bolt at first, but if you look, there's like a little plastic piece with... Maybe some little gears on there. You can see some threads on here. I don't know about that one, man. Some kind of funky looking bolt with the plastic on there. Honestly, this one looks kind of hollow. Maybe like a jack handle or something. The old... Oh, there is a little something on there, you guys. Check that one out, man. What the heck is that? Like a giant staple? The old V staple. And then I caught this here. And I don't really know what to think of that, you guys. Kind of hard to tell what that one could be. Some kind of maybe a clamp piece. Who really knows? Ooh, I just stuck something pretty good. We're a little ways out here from the bridge too. What do I got there? Oh, bingo, dude. Look at you guys. I caught me a big old ax head. And look at that one, you guys. No handle on there at all. All. This thing had to be down there for years. Now, I'm not sure on the history in this area. Maybe there was logging going on back in the day. Or maybe this is just somebody's personal axe. Who knows? Super cool, man. And again, I say this all the time with these. I really don't think it would take much to push that wood out and put a new handle on there. We cost the old chopper. Watch, watch. I'm pulling something. Yeah. Oh, show. What do we got? Oh. Ooh, big old tangled up mess here. Dude, what the heck, you guys? Look at another one of them staples that makes three. 
and boom we got a fourth oh look at oh my gosh hold on there's a whole bunch of stuff going on here look at this we also caught a belt buckle don't hopefully there's nobody down there to go with the belt buckle that's a little spooky and look at this you guys there's a pair of headphones on here holy smokes what brand do we even got oh, i think i just wiped it off i'm pretty sure there was a sticker on there that said i Heart radio heck yeah check it out you guys slap those in your ears you can bump some tunes <laughs> Oh, I just didn't grab something? What happened there? I see a bunch of bubbles coming up. I don't know what's going on. Rolled something over and it didn't come with. Oh, it did come with. Boom. Look at you guys, two different finds. First of all, I caught me a horseshoe now and Alex just caught one before, but mine looks way smaller than his. And if you actually look on mine, look at, you can still see some of them nails sticking out of there. Those are the actual nails that would go inside the horse's hoof. Look at you guys, it is absolutely sprinkling. Blue skies and it's raining. What is going on here? And this one here is Alex's, you guys. Look at the hooks on that sucker, holy smokes. And then I did have a little something else on there. At first, I thought it was like a top, like the old spinning top. But the more I look at it, I don't know what that is, you guys. Magnificent in the rain, baby. Oh, like that. Good, good scrap. Look at the throw you got one on there. A couple big old long skinny bolts. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Still raining. Holy cow. I don't know. Is it supposed to stop? It better. What we got here? Oh, look at that, you guys. Of course, another staple on there. We gotta be at like 10 or something now. Look at that. That's like all I can see in the bottom of the car here. Staple, staple, staple. But you guys, look at this, man. I think this is also some kind of logging tool. I could be wrong, but I believe this is also some kind of thing they would stick into the logs and they would tie ropes to it. It almost looks like a key, you guys. Pretty funky looking. The only problem with this one is the blue is just a little washed out. It's just a baby blue. Look, at, look that. at that. Look at that Pepsi Cola logo. That is crazy. I wonder what the year is, but if it's magnetic, it's, I mean, it's gotta be 60, 60 some six, years old. Super cool. Smells like fresh wood, doesn't it? Maybe this is like a wood shop or something here. I mean, it smells like freshly cut wood. I'm not even kidding. Am I on something? I think I might be. Literally first throw right up in here. Yeah, whoa, what is going on here? Holy debris, you guys. Ah, I thought that might have been a file. Check that out, man. Whole bunch of nails, looks like couple bolts, a little bit of debris pieces on there, and a file. Whoa. Dude. That's that, massive. Talk about a pipe. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at that. It's got the knuckle like on the end and everything. The main line coming from the water tower. <laughs> Holy. Oh, I just landed on something. We're fighting through the pile of nails here, you guys. I, I just have a feeling right behind this shop, man. It's so close to the river. There's gotta be some stuff in here. You just know there was somebody tossing some stuff in the river. That's just how it goes. Heck yeah, you guys. Look at that throw, man. No. Look it, we got another staple, and we're way away from the bridge where we were finding the last ones. Staples, huh? You found another one? Yeah, mine's no little kidding. Bent up. Holy cow. Yeah. Yeah. You guys, we are literally getting rained out. Like, it's almost to the point where, I don't know. Like, holy cow, look it. What is going on here? As we're getting absolutely rained on, you guys, looks like a couple more nails and bolts on there. And then we had this thing. What the heck do you think that one is? Definitely looks like you could put a pin through there or something. What you doing under there? I'm 
stay and drag my camera. <laughs> Dude, this is not good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> this cannot be right now. Like, nah. Uh uh. This bad. is bad. This is bad. I think I'm on something again. It's like every throw in here. Uh oh. Unless I'm. Oh no, that's something big. Yo, what's this? Oh, I'm pulling us out from under the tree. Hopefully, as it's like stopping oh, rain too. Whoa, look at that. What the heck is this? Oh, yo, first of all, hold on. Yeah, it's one of those. Um, this is one of them things that Alex found in the beginning when we first pulled up here, you guys. It's another one of them somethings with the old looking like it should be on a hinge. And maybe, I don't know, you guys, this one almost looks like a piece of wood going through there or something. And then we had this big old thing. What the heck? Do you think this is for you guys? Got a couple flanges sticking off of there. And then whatever that is, I don't know, man. Big old rusty piece of something round. I think I just landed on something heavy. Oh, that's not, that's, are you gonna move or what? Oh, that must've been a rock. Yeah, now we come from this angle and I pop right loose. Or maybe not a rock. Oh, maybe we were wedged in a rock, but look at you guys, what the heck is that? It almost did look like a chain when I first saw it. You know, it sounds funny. It reminds me of like the, the chains that roller coasters they use to bring you up. Really? Like, oh yeah, ting, 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 ting. That's exactly huh. what it looks like. Who knows what this is part of you guys, but it definitely looks like some kind of chain mechanism here. Maybe part of some kind of machinery from this shop, who knows? Here we go, even way out here, you guys. We're actually getting a little bit farther away from shore here and I'm still feeling stuff. That's, oh boy, we're like getting heavier. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh yeah, what's this? Um, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say this is my heaviest stick of the day. What is going on? Looks like just a couple small things, but like, this is what's heavy. What is this, just an ugly piece of rebar? Yeah, and we got about 20 feet of that sucker. Holy smokes. Oh my gosh, I gotta, ooh, ooh. See if I can, oh yeah, that one's long enough. I can just bend her right up, stick that sucker right in the cart nice and easy. But you guys, I think we seriously found something cool. Yep, I didn't wanna say anything right away, but look at what it is. You guys. I caught a picaroon. I haven't found one of these things in forever, you guys. You can kind of see where the wooden handle snapped off, but this used to be a logging tool. It's basically just a big old pick and they would use it to whew, stick some logs and you could kind of move them and maneuver them around how you need to. Super cool. So now I caught the picaroon over there by the bridge. Remember I caught the ax head. It's starting to seem you guys like there was definitely some logging going on here back in the day. The old picaroon. And then look at man, one staple, the old U shaper, two staples, another U shaper, and then we got another one of these links. And this one again is solo dolo hanging out by itself. And that's really weird, you guys, because the two that Alex found were linked together. So I'm guessing maybe that's how they're supposed to be. Pretty funky. Oh, whoa, oh, snap. I'm like trying to turn us around with the trolling motor here, like snag me up on something. Oh, that's actually kind of heavy. I just said I found the heaviest thing before, scratch that. This is like heavier than that almost. No, oh, it's because this branch, get the heck out of here, it caught me half a tree. But look at what else we got on here. We got the old racing baton, look at that one. Wah, 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 wah. Oh, snap. Looks like just a big old bolt, you guys. Couple other things on here. Hey, does this not look like another 
crank or something like this would go on to something here and that would be like some kind of crank man that's like crank number two it seems like and then we caught these two things they almost kind of look the same and like maybe this one is just missing what this one has i don't know you guys they definitely look identical here but one still has a little bit more sticking off the back Here we go. Maybe hitting stuff. Oh, that's something. Oh, locked us up there. And I'm pulling it loose. Yeah, that feels decent, you guys. What do we got here? Big old, big old long something. I don't know what this big old long thing could be. The old samurai sword. <laughs> oh, look at this. Hold on, hold on. There's two things here I see. Boom, we got us another file, you guys. Probably something with the old woodworking or maybe the metalworking. Who knows? But look it, I found another picaroon. And dude, oh, yeah. this is like the tiniest one. Look at the pick on there. It's a teeny little baby tiny pick. I've never seen one this tiny. That's crazy looking. Dude. Oh my goodness. It's like a, oh, what do you call it? That's that? a big old gear. It's like a differential piece. I think, I don't know for sure. It's some sort of automotive piece, man. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, Yo! Oh yeah, there's some writing on there, yeah. yup. Dude, try lifting that. That is extremely heavy. You guys, I have no idea what it is. Oh, ooh. <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna like throw my back out just lifting this thing up, dude. I gotta set it down. What the heck, yo? That thing's, dude, that's the heaviest find for sure. Look at that, whoa, you're gonna break the cart. Oh, here we go. Big ol' something. Or at least heavy. Maybe not big, but that sucker's heavy. What do we got? Um, didn't look too fancy at first. It, looking at this side, it looks like just a piece of broken pipe or something. But then you flip it over and it gets a little more interesting. Got a couple tabs on the side with a little something down the middle. What the heck you guys think that one is? Tons of rust on there, super old looking. We are absolutely killing it here all of a sudden. Look at this, we just about filled up the cart already. <laughs> Ooh, just snapped right to something, and that's a heavy something. Oh, stay on there. Oh, yes, it's coming, you guys. You know I love finding heavy stuff. Here we go. Oh, is that a signpost? Oh, maybe not. What the heck is that? Looks like some kind of rail or something, you guys. It looks like a mini train track rail does it not that's funky looking i don't know man that's really weird but you guys i seen something cool looking on here this is that a wrench or what the heck is that yeah or is it not what the heck do you guys think that is it sure looks like something going on there it's like some falcon claws ah I'm snapping up some more stuff here, you guys. Holy cow. It seems endless. We absolutely found us a honey hole. Oh my gosh. What is going on here? Big old knot of something. Is that all stuck together? Hey, are those those links? Hey, they sure are. And look at these ones are all linked together. Yeah, dude. Okay, so at first I started catching singles now i caught me like a quadruple what the heck you guys think these were for they're definitely links now for sure we know because they're all connected oh big 
no ring on there. You guys, I, seriously, it's every throw. There's not a throw I've taken yet behind this shop here that hasn't been a bunch of nails and bolts on there. It's probably making it hard to connect to other stuff, but look at this one. What the heck you think that ring came off of? It's a fancy bracelet. Mm, 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 mm. Catching a little blang blang, baby. Oh, what the heck is that? A little something sticking off of there. Oh, hold on. As I'm pulling this off, look at what else I, oh, that almost snapped my finger. That could have hurt. Look at what else I see. Is that some kind of blade or some kind of saw? Sure looks like it, you guys, but the way it's shaped is like it would almost be rounded. You know what I'm saying? If it kept going, it'd be like a massive circle. And then we caught this thing, you guys. Oh, it's another picaroon, man. It's another tiny one. At first, I didn't know what the heck to think of this, you guys, because it was cracked here. I thought it was like some kind of clip or something, maybe, but no definitely a picaroon and we're just missing the handle. Another logging tool. You guys, I got something here. I've been playing with it for a minute. I think I got it loose. Yep, here it comes. This sucker is actually pretty heavy. Like, whoa, that's gotta be extremely. Oh, oh, what the, oh my gosh. Oh, don't fall off, don't fall off. You guys, you guys, let me get my hand in there. Let me get my hand in there. I got it, yo, oh, what the, look at what I just found. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm dumping a whole bunch of water in the boat. You guys, oh, it's what one of them milk that? jugs. Is it really yeah, that? one of them it's big really milk really containers. I've never found one that still had the yeah, handles on there, I don't think. Wow. I'm pretty sure this is an old milk jug or an old milk container, but I could be wrong. This could be used for something else. I wonder what the year on this sucker is. What do you think? <laughs> right. That's crazy. You guys, we are being swarmed by some more dark clouds. Seriously, get the heck out of here. I'm just trying to magnifish, man. I'm like getting towards the middle of the river now. Find something out here, I'd be surprised. Not really. Find stuff all over the place. Oh my goodness, I see some color, man. A lot of it. Heck yeah, man. Which makes sense, because think about it. I mean, I guess maybe not fishing from a boat, but like from the aspect of fishing from shore, if you're casting it, it'd probably it's land about way. here. Heck yeah, you guys, look at that one. Two fishing lures. Oh, we hold on, we better slow down. We're gonna hook ourselves. Look at that one, you guys. That's a super bright jig. The old nose diver. Boink, boink. That one's definitely still fishable. Looks like it's got a brand new bright orange hook on there. Heck yeah, yeah check like, that one out. Like, check this one out, you guys. This one is a super nice expensive one. And watch this. We could rub off the side here. Watch that mud come right off of there. This thing's been down there forever, man. But the bill is still good. Doesn't look snapped. Nothing looks broken. All you gotta do is replace the hooks and you're going fishing. Yeah, sure. Still rattles and everything. What is that? Color. Yo, hold on a second. Dude. Okay, first of all, you guys, a little bolt, couple nails, another big old staple. And we're starting to find these on like every throw. But look at this little green thing. Wh what is this? No. Is that a teeny, teeny, tiny lock? You guys, what the heck could that be for? Like a diary? Look at, you can see letters on the side of there, like a lock combination. Yeah, and that's the lock. What the? That's probably the tiniest lock I've ever seen in my life. I 
shot up, man. Wow. You guys, and it's another stubby one. We caught another short pickaroon. You guys, look at this. We caught four pickaroons. And every single one of these came from this area right here. Almost no doubt in my mind, there was definitely some logging going on back in the day. And look at, they're all different sizes. You got the big, you got the medium, and then we got two smalls. That is absolutely unreal. No doubt, I'm sure there's tons more in here and who knows what else. You guys, it took quite a while. We really didn't find a whole lot under that bridge at first. Then we got behind that factory. I'm telling you, we're definitely going back there. Today we are back in Oconto, Wisconsin. Now today's gonna be the second time we've been here. The first time I was with Alex and we absolutely stacked the cart, you guys. Now today, I got Owen out here. The last time we were out here, you guys, we ended up behind some kind of what I think is a wood shop or maybe an old metal shop. It's hard to tell. Now there are some dark clouds rolling in, you guys. Check it out, a little darker over here and a little lighter over here. I don't know how long we're gonna have to magnet fish today, so we're gonna get right down to it. We're gonna start dipping around and we're gonna see what we can find today. I have my large 360 degree magnet with me today and Owen is gonna be throwing the medium 360 magnet. Now we're not quite at the shop that we finished at in our last video here, but there are a whole bunch more buildings of what seems like could be other shops. So we're gonna get right down to it. We're gonna start tossing. We're just gonna move down this shoreline here and we're gonna see if we can come up with anything. You on something? Yeah. That sucker looks like it's stuck. Oh, that's heavy, buddy. You want me to pull it up or you wanna? I want you to. Oh my gosh. Whoa. This feels like you shouldn't even have it with this <laughs> magnet. Whoa. Oh my gosh. There's like more to it. First, it looks like just a piece of pipe or something. And I think, I guess that might be what this square piece is. Just some kind of square <laughs> piping or something. Got any Frankies in there? Got any Frankies in there? Hello? See any? Frankies? You in there? But then it's got like some kind of uh, brace coming off of it. Nice, dude. Your first find of the day. That's a big old chunk of cash money. And who knows what this really is. Watch, watch it. Nice, man. Check that out. What the heck do you think that is? It looks like some kind of handle, doesn't it? Okay. Right right where your hand is. Like you could grab that. Yeah, I don't but know, I man. This is. It's actually a train home honker where like, where like you hold it up uh, but, and, then, and then you pull it down. That's a train honker. <laughs> Get out of the way. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll grab it, hold on. Grab it. You got it. Oh, my gosh. What is, what is that? What is that? There's like a handle. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. This looks like a big old chunk of, I was going to say a chain, but it's not like your average chain. That's like a funky looking one, man. We'll check that one out, you guys. I'm not sure what to think of that. It looks like some kind of big old chain link for something. Maybe off of some machine from one of these buildings. Who knows? This is a big old chunk. Oh my. That slapped pretty hard. Here we go. That, why does that, do? that feels, oh, oh, no way. You guys, I got me an ax head. You guys, that thing felt way heavier than it looked. Look, you can see where the handle was. Holy cow, man, this sucker looks old. If you've seen our last video in this area, you guys, we found tons of logging stuff. And here we go again, you guys, we got us an ax head. You could put a new handle on there, sharpen her up, and you're going chopping. Yeah, we can keep that one. I got something. Something heavy. Oh, ah, ah. I get bit by a mosquito on my, ow, on my face. Ouch. What the heck? That was random. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. You know what, yeah. what do you think this is, buddy? I know exactly what this is. Yeah, if a big fish is alive, then you like hold on to this end and then 
<laughs> like a fishing spear. No, this is actually a logging tool, you guys. Unreal, man. This is part of what I believe is called a cant hook. You can see part of the wooden handle on there still. If you look at the spike here, this is the part that you would like stick into a log and then there's supposed to be like where it would be a hinge for a flap that you could slap onto the log and kind of grab it. Looks like we're missing that part. The more and more stuff I'm finding back here, it's pretty obvious that they definitely did some logging around here. That is way too cool, you guys. Here we go. Why does it feel so heavy? What the heck? That is all one piece. I was fully prepared for this to just be an ugly piece of scrap. But what the heck you guys think that is? It's like a little candy cane. What is it? It's a J for Justin. It's a J for Justin. Oh, what the heck is that? Uh, looks like part of a razor blade or what do you call those things? The old circular saw blade. You could definitely see the teeth on there still. That's definitely what that is. Or maybe it's some kind of gear piece or some kind of locking mechanism. Who really knows? Something with the old teeth on there. Oh, now that's definitely part of like a saw blade, you guys. Look at that one, or at least I think it is, ain't it? What the heck else would that be? Those are definitely teeth on there. <laughs> oh, shut your lips, dude. I just found the other hook piece off of that cant hook. Yep, right here, you guys. This sucker would go just like this. It would clip on right there. I'd be willing to bet this is exactly the piece that it's from. That's exactly what it's supposed to look like. This piece would clamp down over your log. Pretty cool, man. Ooh, I got something here. Here we go. This is pretty heavy. Ooh, looks like a couple things. Oh, first of all, dude, whoa. Look at this. What the heck is that? Are those like gears on there or what in the world is that? Brrr. Some kind of blades? I don't know, man. That's kind of funky looking. Does look like some kind of pipe or some kind of something would run through there. Now we're more behind this shop that we left off in our last video, you guys. Maybe this stuff is coming from the shop. There's no way to tell. <laughs> And then you guys, look at this. Looks like a little bolt on there. Nothing too fancy with that one. Then we had this big old thing. And if you watched our last video here, we've been finding these like linked together. Sometimes they come single like this and sometimes they literally come linked. I think the biggest one was four or five. So I don't know what the heck these could be. Yo, what is that? A little color on there. What the heck is that, you guys? Oh, he's writing on the back. What does that say? Enger Burtson's Auto Rebuilders, Inc. Green Bay, Wisconsin. Oh, you guys, look at that. There's like a bulb up there. I'm pretty sure this is a flashlight, like a mini flashlight. Yup, and that's the button. You ain't shining nothing on nobody with this one. This looks like a radio. And I went on teacher's desk. Oh my goodness, I'm like, what the heck is going on here? Yeah, I'm definitely laying into some stuff. Nice and slow. Don't want to lose none of it. That's pretty heavy here, man. I think it's a boat 
Oh, yo, couple things for sure. What do we got here? First of all, a little skinny rebar or something. But you guys, look it, I caught me a little bit of good luck. Whoa, we didn't even really catch that with the magnet. It was just wedged up in that, that little chain link piece, which again is another one of them things that Owen caught before. These gotta be coming off of some kind of machine or something, you guys. It's definitely like some kind of funky looking chain link. Now that's a honker. When we find horseshoes along with logging stuff, typically we start ending up finding ones with shaved down tips here that they used to use for logging. I mean, it would make sense why there's so many of them. Oh, now look at that one. That one's a, a chain link piece for sure, but these one, this one is not long links like the long skinny ones this is an actual regular size chain link it looks like the heck you think that's coming off of maybe this is coming off of some kind of anchor that's down there who knows oh something just snapped up a little snapperoo. Ooh, yo, look at this. I caught me the trident. I'm pretty sure this is like a fishing spear or something, or maybe it's one of them old frogging gigs. Super cool. Ooh, feels pretty heavy. Yo, nah. -uh. Two axe heads. Not two axe heads. It's a it's a double header. Check that one out, you guys. The handle would go right here, and you'd have your double sided axe. No way. That's super cool. Not the one header, but the two header. Another staple, man. Holy cow. I haven't even been showing you guys half of them. It's just about every other throw. I don't know, man. The only thing I can really think of is maybe they were used for logging and they stuck them into the logs and you could like tie your ropes on there or something. But boy, is there a ton of them in here. That's actually coming up. Hold on. I think part of whatever this is might still be stuck on the ground or something. What is this? That's heavy, yo. Oh, something with a chain. Yup. Here we go. What's on the end of it? Nothing. Oh, we've been bamboozled. You guys, I thought for sure we were about to find an anchor or something. Nope, just a big old chain link piece. What the heck you think they were doing with this? Maybe this is something they were using to wrap up the logs for something? Who the heck knows? That sucker's heavy. Ooh, sorry, buddy, you got chunks flying at you. How dare you? You still alive? What is that? Bike pedal? No, that's that's another one of them things, you guys. One of them like cover looking deals here with the little slots in it and the little hinge piece on the back. What is this, like our second one here today? But last time, man, like I said, we found about a handful of them and still no clue what the heck these are. Super funky. At first, it looked like a bike pedal with the missing flasher on there. Nope.
whole bunch of stuff on there again and again you guys look at another one of these blade looking pieces with the teeth on there that's got to be another broken off piece of a circular saw blade and again you guys it could be from this shop if you remember our last video i took a big old whiff when we first got here it smelled like freshly cut wood so my guess is that this is a wood shop but who knows what it used to be you know Oh, what do we got here? Um, I was gonna say, that doesn't look uh, normal here. Look, it's got some kind of metal something going on, but you can see there's like a wood handle that goes in there. This looks like the metal, like for the head of a shovel almost. And it looks like this is all that's left of the handle. Oh my goodness, look at it. Wah, wah, wah. We called us a shovel neck. Ooh, a little something hanging off of there. A little bolt. What the heck is that, though? Again. Oh, you know what this is? I was going to say, I seen the little wooden, little what's left of a wooden handle anyways. But you guys, this is a picaroon. Look at that one. I don't think it's a snapped off tip. It kind of looks like it was just being smacked on. But again, you guys, this is another logging tool. Something they would use to stick into the logs to maneuver them easier. There's so much stuff back here, it's ridiculous. And I think these things are so cool, you guys. Talk about history. Bunch of sticks on there. Ooh, some fishing line. Oh, look at nah. -uh. Before we look at what's on the magnet, look at. Hold on, let me get this fishing line in. See if we got us a pole or something. Nope, we're poleless. Whole bunch of sticks, bunch of fishing line. That's good to get out of the river. But you guys, look at what we caught, man. Another pickaroon. Okay, now this one's got a broken tip. That's probably the first one I found so far that had a actual broken tip. You ain't screwing any tools in that one. <laughs> Pretty cool, you guys. We are finding tons of logging evidence in here. Something like this, I don't even know the exact year on, dude, but you're probably pushing a hundred years. Oh, you hear that? Yeah, that was thunder. I heard some thunder for sure. That might not be good. Yep. I was joking about dodging the clouds earlier, but well, we might not be able to dodge them for too long. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at two more flipping staples. It's starting to seem like these are unlimited in here. You ever need any staples? Give me a jingle. You can grab one. Here we go. Or what is going on there? Something out here in the middle of the river, just about. Oh, look it. That's a full circular saw blade. I was only catching chunks of them earlier. Now I caught the full one. Don't Come here, let me cut your arm off. I'm innocent. You're innocent. Don't cut my arm off. <laughs> Unreal. You definitely ain't caught nothing with this one no more. I could probably snap it in half. What a super cool find, you guys. Bam. Oh, 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 oh. Almost lost her. Oh boy, you guys, them dark clouds are moving right towards us. It's starting to get windier. This might not be good. I was here in thunder too, so we don't want to get stuck in lightning, especially not on a boat. Ooh, 
Ooh, I see a little something orange. I was gonna say, what the heck is this though? Looks like a big, long, ugly something scrap. But I think we caught us a jig. Heck yeah, you guys. Ow, I just snapped the hook off there. Well, we had to do a little stress test. Just a junk jig. Now, if you look right here behind me, there's like a super old factory. I have no clue what it is, but today we're gonna start off magnet fishing right in front of the wall, right in front of this factory. We're gonna see how it goes. If we don't find much, we're just gonna keep bouncing around, but we are gonna get right down to it today, guys. Let's start dipping this magnet around and let's see if we can find anything. Now, check this place out. I'm not 100% sure. I said it was a factory, but looking at it, I guess I really don't know. All I know is it looks super old and you can kind of read some writing on the concrete here. Project number 31 or something, whatever that means. Let's start tossing our magnet around here and see if we can find anything. Oh, I think I see lights on inside there actually. Huh? So it must not be like abandoned like it looks. Everything's all rusted out. Looks like a super old building. Oh, what do we got on there? Well, I wouldn't say first finds of the day, really, because there's not much on there. Couple nails, little rock piece, and a washer. Well, nothing too crazy, but we're not going home empty-handed, huh? That feels heavy. Okay, first heavy-ish stick of the day. If we can get it up and check it out right in front of this door here on the side of the factory. What do they got going on over here? Ooh, big heavy something. What the heck is this? Uh, kind of just looks like some, some plumbing or something maybe. What is this one? Oh, look at this one. This one's kind of like a chisel or something. Yep, you can see like the flat tip there. Check that one out. Or maybe just a big old stake. Definitely got the flat tip on there though. And then this one here looks like the old field goal post. I don't know what that one is. Again, looks like just some plumbing, honestly. Yeah, the old factory plumbing. Oh, that's something. Is that magnetic or no? That's heavy. That's pretty heavy. What we got here? You guys, first of all, look at there's a hook magnetized through whatever this piece is. What in the world? It's just standing right up. That's pretty weird. Boing, boing, boing. But what the heck is this thing here? Kind of just looks like a like a chunk of metal. Yeah, I don't know what the heck that thing came off of. The old factory chunk. Oh, look at that one. I almost didn't even see that. I thought it was like a little fish at first. It pretty much is. Look, it's like a little goby lure. I think I've actually found one of these before. Yep, and I'm pretty sure the hook is hidden in the back there. Check that one out, you guys. Pretty beat up, pretty dirty, but I bet you you could still catch a fish with that thing. <laughs> Look, I can see some more writing on the concrete right here. It says 1934. CWA, huh, 1934, holy cow. Look at this one, you guys. I know what these are right off the bat. And I'm sure some of you guys do too because we have been finding tons of these recently. We seem to find them all over the place. They're these old fish grappling snagger hooks. I say it every time, these things must have been legal back in the day because I'm almost positive that they're not anymore. Can't just be out snagging fish. Pretty crazy, you guys, and if there's one, I'm sure there's more. I think I'm going to keep finishing off throwing to the end of this factory and then I'm going to head to the other side because there is an apartment building over there. So that looks pretty juicy too. Ooh. 
Oh, oh my goodness. Whoa, dude, that's, this is heavy, heavy, heavy. Like that shouldn't even come up kind of heavy, ain't it? No, what is this? Uh-huh, what the heck is it? It's like a whole plumbing thing, isn't it? What is that? Give me this. You come up here. I got gotcha. you. Oh, dude, it is. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at this thing that was on there too. I don't know exactly what this is, but it's got like this funky looking tip on there. I think I found something like this before. Almost looks like it would go in the chuck of like a drill or something. That sucker's long though. I don't know what that is. And of course again, another little scrap metal chunk fell off of there. But check out this pipe, you guys. Literally, this thing is almost as tall as me. Give it another foot, and this thing is, is taller than me. Holy crayfish hotel. Think we got any buddies in there? Let's check and see. Don't oh, nobody's home. That is some scrap weight right there, man. I think we are definitely gonna have to come back to this factory and give it another shot. We're gonna go check out this apartment building over here. And then if we don't find much here, there's actually a little workshop just down the river from here where we have found all kinds of cool stuff. Ooh, first throw over here. I'm <laughs> I'm already on some. No kidding. Yep. Or at least it feels like it. Yeah, definitely. I had to have landed right on that sucker too. Whoa, what is that? Hold on, that's gonna slip off. Oh what the heck is that? Uh is that like part of a barrel or something? That's kind of what it looks like the old oil barrel or something. Or maybe it's part of like an old cover. One of them things that goes under the road. You know what I'm talking about? Big old scrap metal chunk now. Oh, whatever that is, that sucker's heavy. Finally. Whoa. Yeah, what the heck is that? I don't know what to think of that thing. It's like solid steel for sure though. It looks like a, it's like shaped like a cone. Yeah, check this thing out guys. It looks like it's the shape of a cone or something, but it's got like a hole on what looks like both sides here. What the heck do you think that is? That sucker's actually pretty heavy. At first I thought it was a window weight or something, but that's definitely not what that is. Huh, pretty funky looking. Ooh, I think it's pulling something out of the mud here. Sure feels like it. Heck yeah, what do we got here? Ooh, that's heavy too. Ooh, look at that one. Whoa, what do you think that is? Some kind of wheel hub or something? I don't know. Yeah, check that one out, you guys. Looks like you could maybe put some bolts through these holes here. I don't know. What do you think that's off of? And check out all the rust and gunk on there. Holy cow, that thing's been down there for a while, whatever that is. All right, guys, not a whole ton floating past the apartment buildings. So again, just like the factory, we are definitely gonna have to give that another shot. All right, guys, so now we're gonna head down towards this little workshop that we found just a couple videos ago, and we're gonna poke around over there. I do hear a band playing in the background, though, as we come this way. So hopefully that doesn't mess up our video here. All right, guys, we are coming up on the little workshop here. See, if you look in the back, you can see all kinds of metal materials, but I do see wood also. I keep feeling like there's something right here and I can't get a clean stick. Let's try this again. Oh, here we go. Ooh. Oh, dude, no way. You guys, look at this. Every time, I think I've only found a couple of these now, but every time I find one, I think it looks like some kind of gigantic key. I'm pretty sure this is like an old logging tool. It's kind of like a logging spike. Basically, you would just stick this in the log like that, and then you could tie whatever you're gonna tie to your log. Heck yeah, you guys, super cool, man. I'm pretty sure this is like an antique 
collectible. You could sell this for some cash money. Super cool find, man. Other than that, looks like uh, just some kind of funky U-shaped bolt. I'm, I think I'm dragging something again, even way out here. We're like beyond throwing distance now. You gotta, you'd have had to drop something from, from a boat to get it out here. What do we got? A whole bunch of stuff again. Whoa, look at this. Aha, uh -huh, these are staples and I remember finding these here last time too. Holy cow, you guys, look at one two three of these things couple staples and what do you think these were maybe used in the logs from logging i don't know logs wood staples they kind of go together here what does that look like oh now that i think about it the last time we were here i think we found a longer chunk of this and i think we thought it was like a chain link or something like some square chain links i don't know what that would be part of again maybe like some machinery from the shop who knows Look at that one, you guys. Caught me an ax head. That's like a tiny one. Look at that, it fits in my hand. Holy cow. And look at the handle on that thing, you guys. Dwindled right down, they always are. But again, I, I bet you any money, you can push that thing right out of there, put a new handle on there, and you go chopping some wood. Super crazy, you guys. And just before this, my GoPro died, and look at what I pulled up before that. Right here, same spot. I found me a file, and this thing here is actually the pointy poker piece i think off of a logging tool super cool you guys so we got the part of the uh, logging spike we got a logging axe and we got the logging spikeroo whatever you call this thing all kinds of cool stuff Oh, something. I was going to say, there's some weight on there, but most throws I'm not even showing you guys because it's tons of weight, but it's just a lot of scrap stuff. But look at this one. This is the longer chain link thing that I was talking about, like the square-ish links. This looks like some kind of funky looking chain link and who knows off of what. Oh my gosh, that's actually coming up. I didn't think that was going to, and it still might slip. This is pretty heavy. What do we got? And what's going on here? Oh, I see a horseshoe, but look at, oh, what is that? Just a piece of a chain link. What does that come off of? Yeah, first of all, you guys, look at, I seen this coming up. We got the old horseshoe. We cost a little good luck horseshoe. And then this chain link here, you guys, I don't think, Oh, look, there's a little staple. Yeah, one of them little staples just fell out of there. I don't know if this was attached to something else. Maybe we ripped it right off because it's so rusty. Big old chain link off of something. I, it's hard to believe that uh, this is all that there is. That feels like something. Hold on. What the? Oh, what's going on there? We're like stuck. Oh, here we go. It's coming. It's coming. Hold on. I got her, sea otter. What do we got? Whoa, that sucker must have been stuck in the mud. Dude, whoa. 
Wow, look at this, you guys. That's the old Mac Daddy horseshoe. That sucker's massive. Was this thing honestly on the bottom of a horse's hoof? Because look at that. Do you imagine the size of that horse? That thing had to look like a vehicle. Oh, look at this. I, oh, first of all, another staple, of course. I should just expect them at this point, but look at this thing. I don't know what this is, like a little golden accent design piece thing off of something, maybe like a yard ornament that snapped, who knows? That's kind of cool, check that one out. Oh my goodness, I just plucked something extremely heavy out of the mud. Oh my gosh. This is actually coming up. Dude. Whoa. Oh my gosh. No, 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 don't, don't you dare go back in there. What the heck is that? You guys, look at this thing. What is that? It looks like it could go on some kind of big old roller but is that is that wood that's definitely wood that's absolutely insane what do you guys think this actually is super cool man i can only imagine it had something to do with the logging going on back in the day but who knows holy cow <laughs> Oh, look at that. Bingo. Ha! Check it out, you guys. I seen the flashy shiny right away. We caught us with scissors. Looks like we only got one handle on there, though. Check that one out. What the? They still open and close? Now that's pretty funky. These couldn't have been in here too long. We caught the old snippers. And then we had a little something else on there. I don't know what to think of that one. Kind of looks like just some bracket piece with like a bolt maybe just rusted to it the old something funky something oh i must have landed on something yeah drag no further what do we got here still behind the workshop you guys what the heck is this? Probably another pipe. Nothing too fancy like usual there. Oh, see a little bit of white. Ah, check it out. Found us the old champion spark plug. It almost looks like a little junkyard back up in there. I don't know what is going on at this place. I have no clue. A little bit of everything, it seems like. Other than that, you guys, bunch of random bits and debris pieces. But then this here, I don't know what to think of that, man. Just tons of stuff. I, I want to know. Have you ever seen what's at the bottom of the river? At this point, I might as well just go to the concert. Whatever, something's going on over there. Probably got food. I'm starving. Starving like my name was Marvin or something. Oh, you little bugger. Something fell off. But we still got something. What is that? Probably just a random scrap. Nothing, man. I'm telling you. Maybe that was a sign? I don't know. There's no way to tell anymore. Holy rust bucket. Oh, look at this. Check that out, you guys. What is that? First of all, little chunk of debris. What do you know? Of course. But look at this one. Now, something like this makes me believe that this probably was a wood shop. Because I don't think you're cutting through no metal with something like this. Which is pretty cool, you guys. Tons of logging stuff. Some sawmill evidence. Lots of cool stuff in here.
something just connected really hard right there. See if I can get it up. Come on. Come on. Yes. Yes, here it comes. That connected pretty, pretty hard. It like slapped. What do we got? Oh, dude, what is this? What the heck is that? Uh, I don't know. It looks like some kind of pipe holder or something. You could set a pipe in there. I don't know. Never seen nothing like that before. Seriously, I don't know what to think of this thing, you guys. A big old chunk of metal with some kind of brace on there. Some more cash money for the car. I landed on something. Yeah, we're pulling ourselves right to it. Come on. Is that gonna come up though, or or what? Oh my. Yeah, here we go. That one's coming. Yeah. What do we got? Oh, look at that big old ring. What the? It's a wedding ring for giants. Seriously, look at that thing. Some big old ring off of something, you guys. I definitely don't think they slide nothing like this over logs. What the? Nuh-uh, right on camera. That was cool. That was pretty cool. A little fish jumped right on camera. Whoa, what's this? Don't fall off. Um, dude, is that a... Is that a fire extinguisher? Hold on a second. I think it might be. Yes, look at the hose is still on there and everything. Fire, get down. You have got to be kidding me, you guys. Look at this thing. Unbelievable, you guys. What do you think the year on that is? Look at, there is some writing on there, but it's super hard to tell, way too rusted up. And I wonder, would this thing still be under pressure? Now the little workshop we were just at is right on the other side of those trees. We're kind of working our way down here to what looks like might have been another workshop. <laughs> Holy cow, I found a whole fire extinguisher. I don't think I've ever found anything like that. Look at that one, man. Another staple here. And we still aren't 100% sure what these are for. Could be logging, could be who the heck knows what. But boom, check that lure out. Holy snag there. But you guys, check it out. Doesn't look like the bill is broken at all, which that's typically the problem on these. This little bill is snapped and then you can't use it. One little tiny hook of what's probably a treble hook left on there. This thing's got no hooks and holy gunk on there. How long you think that one was down there? Probably six, seven dollars. Throw a couple hooks on there, you go fishing. Nice. Oh, I got something here. Had to have landed right on it. Wow, this little shed here. I don't know what this is. Here we go. This one's heavy too, like heavier than the fire extinguisher. Wow. Yeah, whoa. Whoa, a couple things here. Hold on a second. Dude, it's some more of that chain link stuff. But first of all, ow, ow. What the heck is this? Looks like just some kind of funky looking uh, L-shaped bracket. Maybe something from an old building that was maybe here. A Little bit of cash money. But you guys, check it out. We found another one of these big old square-ish looking chain links. Yup, they're definitely chain links. They swivel and everything. The only thing I can think of with these is it had to be like some kind of machining or something. Something that would have moving workable parts. I'm almost half expecting to pull a whole machine out of here at one point. Oh, 
Oh, look at you guys. I didn't even see that. We caught the old daredevil fishing lure. That's actually like not that old really looking. Heck yeah, dude, that's a super nice one. I've caught all kinds of fish on these, but I was looking at this thing here. Is that just a piece of pipe or like what? I didn't know if that was like a magnifying glass or just like what the heck was I looking at? An old ice cream scoop? That's a weird one, you guys. Ah, something. That's heavy too. Oh, that's heavy stuff in here, man. Dude, more? What the heck? The only thing left to find could be the machine. Seriously, you guys. Wow, and they're like, this one's a super long, big one. You know what, now that I say big, hold on a second. Yeah, these are like different sizes. So like this one here is way smaller than this one. So I don't know what these are coming off of you guys, but I'm starting to think it's not the same thing anymore. What in the world? What the heck is going on down there? It's trying to steal my magnet from me. What the heck? That is all one piece. I was like, what in the world? You guys, maybe that's why I was stuck. Maybe this came off of something. I don't know, but look at, this is definitely the stand or like the foot piece off of something. Maybe some old factory shelving, who knows? Definitely some kind of foot piece off of something. It's the old baseball tee. Now you just need a bat. You guys, yet again, another successful day. We found tons of cool stuff and we found a lot of scrap. We filled the cart right up. I definitely think that first factory and that apartment deserve another shot. And really, probably that whole area deserves another shot. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit that thumbs up button for me and don't forget to subscribe.